Well, it's a uh, verse and devotion, and I don't have a series or anything to do this time. However, I was praying, and I distinctly heard Revelation chapter 5. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I literally went, ugh, when I heard Revelation chapter 5. And the reason why is because Revelation is Revelation. It is not one that is, um, in my opinion, easy to discuss, learn, read, because it's all future stuff. But when I went to the spot in the Bible at Revelation chapter 5 and I started reading over it, I went, okay. So I, I get it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to try not to cry. Um, I actually just did finish crying. I've been praying for a ton of people today. And, and um, a lot of people have needed prayer. And so I've been diligently praying all day long for individuals and their circumstances and um, waiting to hear good things come back. So if you need prayer anytime, let me know. I will stop and I will sincerely pray for you because prayer changes things. I know that it does. <laughs> All right, so Revelation chapter 5. <clears throat> This is talking about the scroll and the lamb. Verse 1, chapter 5. Then I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it. I wept and wept because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or look inside. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. Now, this is all future. And that's, you know, what Revelation is. But this is super cool. This is what um, John saw in his, uh, in his revelation. <laughs> Verse 6, Then I saw a lamb, looking as if it had been slain, standing in the center of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent out into all the earth. He came and took the scroll from the right hand of him, who sat on the throne. And when he had taken it, the four living creatures... And the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, because you were slain, and with your blood you purchased men for God. From every tribe and language and people and nation, you have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God. And they will reign on the earth. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they sang, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them singing to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshipped. It doesn't matter what you're going through and some of you are going through some serious pain and difficulty Jesus is on the throne he always has been and he always will be you don't have to worry you don't have to freak out you don't have to be scared Jesus has got this and he always will. And that's never going to change. 
and you can take that to the bank. He has got it. He did it for you and for me, and he loves us, and he has defeated all the bad stuff, all the evil. He's defeated it with love. It's wonderful. Just stop and thank him and praise him today.